hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm back today with another video this time is my alta haul from when they sent out that 20 percent off your entire purchase coupon so if you're interested in seeing the items i picked up please keep on watching okay so this is the bag if you watch my sephora haul then you know i did a beauty no buy for the first four months of the year so i didn't really buy much makeup beauty skincare period um, so I picked up quite a few items, so we're here for a good time, but also a long time. So let's see what I got. Um, this is the first thing, this big box is the Morphe and Ariel, um, I think it's called the Signature Face Brush Set. And these are what the brushes look like. I thought these brushes looked very cool and interesting. And I wanted to give these a try. So I picked this up. The next thing I have here is one of my... my oh, that bag. So I'm um, One of my favorite moisturizers is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Um, my skin just reacts to this very well. I use it at night when I am using it. And I'm currently using the Glow Recipe. Uh plum hyaluronic moisturizer and i find like this one really gets the job done so i'm excited to go back to this so this is like my third one of these um the next item i have here i'm just gonna put a random i like to ideally go by brand but i did not um divvy this up so here we go so the first two things i have here are from elf first two blushes i have not things um i got a, i picked up a couple of their camo liquid blush this is in the shade suave mauve and that's what it looks like this thing on leaning on backwards sorry and then this next one is in the shade coming in hot pink and it is the pink one i have been like on the hunt for this pink one for since they released and i'm very excited to try this formula because it is an affordable liquid blush for girl embarrass me this is what the applicator looks like very very vivid bright pink shade and i'm so excited about it next up in the liquid blush family i got some of the i picked up some of the uh juvia's place blushed liquid blush lighters in like these are the glow ones and this is pink lady glow so these are i think they have the corresponding shades and like the matte cream formula but these have like the iridescent shimmers i don't know if the camera will pick it up but I'm very excited to try these as well. I can't open nothing. Goodness. And that's what the applicator of these look like. These gonna have gone viral on TikTok because like they are very pigmented. Use as minimal as possible to start, then build up if you need more. The next one I picked up is in Barbie Rose Glow. And I don't have this shade in the original um, formula. So this one is a pinky core versus this one is like a straight up like Barbie pink vibe. If you can see that. And then the last one here is in Marigold Glow. And it's more of it like the orange core shade. And that's what it looks like. I see like this new like sunset blush trend on TikTok and I'm very interested in trying it and I think those shades will look very good doing so. Next item I have here. I picked up some lip items. Let me see if I can grab them all. From Anastasia Beverly Hill. Yeah, I think that's all I see. That. So first one here is in the lip velvet and I picked up the shade Kiss. And these are the matte liquid lip stains. Oh, can't read backwards. Yeah. And this is what the applicator is like a light P 
peachy cool nude shade i heard great things about this formula and i picked up some lip glosses this first one is in latte i'm so mad like i was really trying to stick to my no buy when i saw these were 50 percent off during the also 21 days of beauty and i didn't pick them up but like i'm like you know i started to cheat but i didn't cheat so i picked them up during this go around so this is latte yeah i said that so this is like a nude lip gloss i don't think these were out these are just maybe repackaged maybe reformulated that's what the applicator look like i like like flat ah goodness Yeah, that's amazing. So pretty nude shade. And then this one is in Toffee Rose. And I think this is, yeah, it's like pink. And it has little miniature flakes of like sparkles in it. A gorgeous shade. I thought I picked up another one. Another like pinky lip gloss. Maybe I didn't do that. Um, but I did get another uh, lip velvet, and this is in the shade Pure Hollywood. So this is like a lighter nude shade here. Gotta, gotta, love, gotta love a nude lip. So I picked up one item from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfection complexion perfecting micro powder and i picked up this shade medium two i currently have medium three but i feel like to uh that uche makeup tutorial she uses like to set her concealer before she said it with loose powder and three is just too close to my skin tone for that to like be effective so i picked up this shade to give that a try and this is what it looks like this is a very nice powder I really like three for like setting my oil all over my face sometimes. So I picked up two to set under my eye and we'll see how that goes. Um, another thing inspired by the Uche uh, makeup tutorial, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, um, is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. I picked up in the shade two just because I swatched two, three, and four and I find like three and four were just a little too deep for my liking i was a little bit afraid so i decided let me just start with to see how i like it and then go from there like it looks very close to my skin tone but when these are swatched they do seem to swatch a little bit darker and this will kind of be like me because i don't really use a cream bronzer right now i have the fancy one and I, I just, it's not really my thing. So I wanted to start off. I didn't want to start off too strong, if that makes any sense. Um, I, next complexion product I picked up was the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the new concealer. Um, she calls it the We're Even Hide, We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer. I picked this up in the shade 260N, and I wanted to get like a shade a few shades lighter than me just because i wanted like a not super bright but bright enough under eyes so i picked that one up and i picked it up in this shade i normally would get like a shade like a shade lighter and then a shade like two shades lighter but that concealer is kind of expensive so i just got one. Oh, i do have another elf blush this one is in the shade Gorgeous, Gorge Orange. And it is a matte, not matte. Why well, I want to say matte. It's a bright orange color. And I don't know if you, the camera will pick it up, but it also has a few hints of like micro shimmer. It's not all like a straight up matte blush shade. Um, next thing I have here are a couple of eyebrow pencils these are eyebrow pencils i've been using the past couple of months um these are the nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil and i picked up the shade espresso and brunette 
I don't even want to fight with open them. This is what they look like. They they're very fine tip my brow pencil and they have a spoolie on the end. I really really like these. I you know I will spend forty dollars on a blush and don't think twice about it. But when it comes to like eyebrow pencils, mascaras, I try not to spend too much. Like that's not my thing. And speaking of inexpensive mascara, this is the mascara I use because I am a false lash girl and i just like how these this mascara blends my eyelashes with the false ones and um i like the formula and i like how black it is this is the essence lash princess false lash effect mascara and this is the shade i don't know if they have a different shade but it's it's very black it's like the very black shade and I also like the price of it because it's $4.99 um i picked up a natasha denona i need a new lip crayon i have been using this and i really really like it um this is the shade luna the only the only thing like i do feel like Ulta points are better and i like shopping at Ulta. but one thing about it that's a for sale at 20 percent off last practically two weeks versus this also one time 20% off code because when I went in store to pick so I don't want to shop in store and the other one I wanted they didn't have and like now I have to wait I don't know how long months until I get another coupon from Ulta versus before I could have easily like placed another order or something but that's neither here nor there. I guess I just don't need it right now. This is what it looks like. Like, I've already had to sharpen it. And I've only had it, like, a week or so. I really, really like this liner. It is kind of up there with my Makeup Forever number 92. Very expensive, but very good also. And the last two items I have here are both lip products. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Fallen from the Lipstick Tree Lipstick. Oh, that's... That's a cute little name, huh? And I did pick up the Honey shade in this. Yes, Honey. No, this is Yes, Honey. New Kate. And so that was like the one new makeup product I bought this year before this sale. Um, Sackler sent me a 20% off coupon code. And um, I tried it out. And I really like the formula of these lips. Very comfortable to wear very nice lipstick formula and that's just what this one looks like so i picked it up during the Ulta sale and then the last lip product here is the juvia's place volumizing gloss stick and this is in the shade rich honey i really like these little lip products but i do not love the packaging let me show you what I'm talking about. So, I, have, I think I hauled this one in my last video. Like, I'm not even going to bother to set it up right now because I'm not about to wear it. But, like, look how it looks. I just don't like things that look disgusting like that. And, um, like, it's like you got to kind of, I don't know. I just don't love the packaging of these. But what I will say... Um, I wish I could dig it out. I don't know where it's at at the moment. But Makeup by Morio has a product. And I find like it is a dupe for these. Um, I'll leave it in the comments down below. Because these are like $15. And his is like, I don't know, maybe 20 something. And I feel as though like they're literally like the exact same product. And I'm not really a big, like you don't hear me talking about dupe a lot. But I do feel like like those are really like dupes of these. Um, so I'm going to stick with the Juvia's Place ones because his packaging is the same and I don't like his either. So I'm not about to spend too much money on, like, I love the product, but like for the packaging, it's, I don't even feel like it's worth it like that. So those are the items I have picked up from Ulta. Nice little haul. I swear I feel like I bought like a pink, like a pink gloss, but maybe I put it down. I don't know. Um, that's neither here nor there. I'm rambling. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.